Hi, I'm Sheila. Welcome to my channel. And yes, you guys, I am so excited. I really am. Um, I have a smile on my face because it's so wonderful when you get great news. And, you know, God is so wonderful. He's so great. I give him all the praise and the glory for everything that comes into my life, you know, as far as positive things. And just me, you know, going through what I go through physically with my health, I give God all the praise because, like I said, I've noticed a great um, difference with my health. I'm realizing that I feel better. I'm doing better and I know that God is um, a part of all things that make us happy and all things that are good comes from God. That's what I believe, okay? And so um, I'm happy because it's amazing how in our lives we can have an opportunity and, um, and we may not take it. And sometimes those opportunities come one time. You don't get it again. Then sometimes you do. And I feel like this chat and relax video I want to share with you all is basically about me being able to have another opportunity, you guys. Um, basically, I've never said anything on my other channel or this channel about the opportunity that I had but I think I got it wrote down on a blog on one of my blog spot pages um, just a little bit about it uh, I didn't go into detail but when my child was three years old and at that time I was 29 years old going on 30 years old yeah I was 29 going on 30 and I had an opportunity where this organization, beauty organization, I'm not going to say no names, but they had gave me an opportunity to come and be a part of the beauty, beauty. They had gave me an opportunity to come and be a part of the beauty uh, institute. And... Um, Although they knew that I was already into beauty things, they liked, you know, me as a person. They liked what I was doing at the time. And they told me that they would teach me more, more into the beauty uh, makeup aspect. And they would also get me into the fashion aspect. And they would even set me up with a wedding planner that was interested in me helping assist her and learn about wedding planning and also to be able to help her with weddings and things like that and so i knew that that was a big opportunity i mean i'm just say you know average girl here in alabama and i would have never thought that i would be given an opportunity like that and I didn't take it and I cried about it because I knew it was a great opportunity and I cried about it but I just could not see myself leaving my daughter like for a whole week in maybe two weeks and then coming back seeing her you know and she was so young she was only three years old I wanted to be with her every single day you know and so I had to choose between the two, you know, and I chose to be with my daughter, you know, I just chose to let it go. And uh, I knew I cried about it and I thought this may not ever happen to me again. I may not ever get this chance. I'm 29 going on 30. I don't know if I, this will ever come to me again or if I ever have the opportunity because I would be over there learning more about the beauty community and more about the beauty and fashion aspects of things and also I would be helping a wedding planner 
and helping with weddings and getting paid. So it it just looked wonderful. Everything was paid for. I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, living expenses. Everything was just wonderful. And I told the person that I could not do it because my daughter at the time was only three years old. And I didn't want to leave her. And I, I told them that I wouldn't be able to be comfortable and everything and be focusing on what I need to be focusing on at the time without thinking about my daughter even though I knew she would be in great hands with my mom at the time my mom would have been the one that I would you know ask to watch my daughter at the time and I knew she would be taken care of but just me being away from my daughter it just sat in my heart and I just couldn't see myself leaving my daughter for a week or two and maybe coming to visit her just for the weekend for like you know a Saturday and then on a Sunday I would have to be leaving going back to the place so I turned that down and that hurts my feelings and I still sometimes think about it where would I be today if I had to that opportunity however you know I just said okay my daughter is important to me and I said you know in my opinion I made the right choice so I went on with my life of course doing what I had to do and everything like we have to do in life and you guys it's amazing you know um, just this past week um, I was asked to um, consider in helping um, a, you know, or going in to help a makeup artist and better yet even have a station. Um, I was just like so overwhelmed. I was like is this happening? Is this for real? You know, is this for real? And the person was very serious about it. And I was like, let me just think about it. Because, you know, I always think about things, you know, when it comes down to, when it comes down to certain, like, things like that. I always like to think about it. I don't just jump at it because, you know, that's just who I am. I always have to think about it and ask God you know, is this good, you know, is this something I should do, so that happened, I'm very happy, you guys, it may not mean anything to anybody, but it means a lot to me, because like I said, I missed an opportunity when I was 29, and so I was like, okay, and they was talking to me, telling me, you know, this and that, and um, how, you know, I look to them how I always um, seem to look great you know makeup wise and they would love for me to actually um, you know be a part of uh, the the company or whatnot and actually have a station and actually be able to earn money <laughs> so I was like oh wow you know oh wow and then, not too many days after that, one other person actually mentioned to me about um, assisting um, another person, but actually this person works or specialist is or specializes with skin care, okay? And um, now, now this person was mentioning about my skin and how wonderful my skin looks even without makeup. She's like, you know, this person was telling me, you know, you know, for your age, you don't you just look so. Your skin looks so so good and so beautiful and I would love for you to you know come and I can teach you and show you some things and you can actually work in the place and um, I'll teach you what you need to know and you know etc etc and I'm like oh my god 
Oh my God, I, I just been on just this, uh, y'all just don't know how I feel because, you know, I would never thought an opportunity would come my way again. I really didn't because, you know, I don't have a license. You know, I went to cosmetology school. Um, the one that I went to, it focused mainly on hair and I'm not, I'm not that person. I wish I was, but I'm not. So I ended up having to leave cosmetology school, the one that I went to, because, you know, I'm glad I went. I had fun for the time that I was there. It's just that I was there for makeup, and they, that, that school do not focus on makeup. It's more about hair. So I don't have no license, you guys, and these people are actually willing to teach me, you know, or show me what I need to know and then actually giving me an opportunity to do uh, those um, those talents. I call it talent. You know, if you do makeup, you got a talent. You know what I'm saying? Or if you uh, specialize with skin care and you help people with skin, you have a talent, you know. And to just have an opportunity like that and I don't have license I just think that is amazing I think it's a, a great opportunity because you know like and then on top of that to pay you know to get paid to do that to get paid to be trained or whatever I need to know I I know some things you know because I went to cosmetology school I know some things about you know what you need to do, how do you go about doing certain things, but to actually get an opportunity to be in a place and to actually do those things, I have yet not done, you know, and except for on myself here at my home, I do it all the time, but you know, um, I am just so, so thankful and just, I don't know what I'm going to do, okay? I'm still thinking I don't know what I'm going to do because I think of it like this. When I, you know, started my YouTube uh, channel, I basically said from the first video that, you know, I come on here to experiment with makeup. I love to experiment with makeup. I you know, I just wanted to come on here and just don't enjoy, just have a fun time and just do what I love to do, you know. Um, I do not make money on YouTube, okay? I do not make money, all right? On, um, I don't make money, all right? And so, and it's okay. I mean, I enjoy getting on here and doing um, videos and makeup videos and things like that because I love makeup you know I enjoy doing it um, however if you you know with anything if you can do something that you like and get paid for it that's awesome you know I you know clap for anyone that does Even, I'm happy for anyone that do get paid to do all of those things. I mean, what more can you ask for? It's doing something that you like and then get paid for it. That's awesome. And so um, that's kind of the way I feel about the opportunities. I mean, doing something that you love to do and get paid, I mean, I would be smiling from ear to ear, you know, <laughs> because I've had jobs where I didn't like and had to do those jobs and I wasn't so happy, but I had to do it. You know, I had to make a living, you know. So, I just been thinking, you know, oh my, oh my, you know, what should I do? I'm just praying to God about everything and just going to see, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> because I enjoy just, you know, um doing what I do, you know, I just enjoy doing what I do at the time being, um, but that, that is some of the news that, or things that happened to me this week, um, and I just think it's so encouraging, and it just softens my heart to, um, feel like that opportunity had, 
the opportunity has come back to me. You know, it's like I had it once and I thought I'd never get that opportunity again. And here it is back again. And it's up to me whether I would want to take that opportunity or not again. See, it just seemed like it just come back to me again. And sometimes it's like I feel like, Lord, is that you talking to me? Is you telling me, you know, you know, hey, you know, this is what you like to do. Take it. You know, I didn't take it back when my daughter was younger. And it's like, you know, it's like it comes back again. to, And it's like I, I can't express in words how I feel because I never thought I would get the opportunity again. Not like that, like the first time, but actually I do have that opportunity again. And I know it comes from God. You know, it comes from God giving me the strength to do what I do. And people is able to recognize it or people are able to see that I do put everything into what I love to do. And I do love makeup. And... It's just a wonderful feeling to actually know how this opportunity again. It's very, very wonderful. I'm trying to hold everything inside because it's very soft on my heart. I, I mean, it's just like I would never thought again, you know, another opportunity. But yeah, that is what I want to talk to you about this week, you guys. So, wonderful news. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know, you guys. But I just, it's part of my chat and relax video as far as what has happened to me this week or what went on for this week. And yes, it's good news. And um, now it's up to me whether to accept or not accept. I don't know, okay? There's something I don't know about. Some things I got to think about as well. But all right, you guys. I'm going to let you all go. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you like. Share if you like. Subscribe if you like. And yeah, I'm going to let you all go. And so you are beautiful and stay beautiful and never, ever, ever, ever give up on your dreams. Never, never, ever, ever give up on yourself. Always believe in yourself. No matter what it looks like, no matter how things are in your in your way. You know, no matter how things are in your, as you see things, you never know what God has in store for you. You never know what life has in store for you. I never thought I would get another opportunity to, to do what I like to do. That's my passion. It's what I love to do. But it has come to me once again, 10 years down the road because I was 29 the first time I got the opportunity and now I'm 39 years old and I has just been asked the same has just been asked to do the same thing that I was asked when I was 29 years old and it's actually an opportunity to do something that I love to do and to get paid to do it so never give up. Always believe in yourself. Always believe that God can take you somewhere. That's one thing I did not give up is on God. I always believed that there's something. I knew that that was what I really needed to be doing. And I want to do someday. But at the time I saw that I could not do it. You know. But you never know what's down the road. If God has something in store for you, it will happen. It will be. If it's meant to be, it will be. All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go. All right. I love you all. Mm, love you. Bye.